I'm a person who is gregarious and I like people to think that I am um, talkative and hopefully funny and I have uh, interesting things to say. So if I'm not feeling great, I still tend to say, hey, how are you? Or, you know, give people a hug or just really engage in a very effusive way. And that can be at such odds with how I actually feel. Uh, and and it, it can almost feel like I'm, I'm lying in a way, like the, the person that everyone thinks I am is so different from how I really feel. I'm always very open about the fact that I have depression, and my family was too. I knew my grandmother lived with depression. I knew my father lived with depression. And so it was something that was comfortable. There wasn't a lot of stigma that, that some people report. That wasn't the case for me. So I would say, oh yeah, I, I live with depression. And people would say, no, you don't. Or they would say, but you're one of the happiest people I know. And I, I tried to explain that it's not about happy or sad. It was more that I felt like, why don't I want to access all of the goodness that is out there? When I was first told that I have depression, that made no sense to me because I'm really happy and I uh, you know, was certainly not lethargic and I laugh a lot. And so uh, that concept of depression did not fit for me. The first time I experienced depression, I was in college, and I had gone through the sort of awkward uh, figuring out where you fit in the college environment, and it was really fun, and I was around people a lot, and I wanted to be around people a lot. And when I was experiencing depression, when I did see people, I was normal. I seemed like myself, but I didn't feel normal and I would do less of those things. My new, you know, circle of friends really tried, really tried to um, kind of pull me out of my shell. And the more that was happening, I, I just resisted it. And I think people just thought that I was a jerk. And I think that um, my friendships were very uh, stressed by that. And that's an experience that I can then say I've had, you know, many times since. That it seems a little mean when, you know, to your friends maybe, to your loved ones, it's like you're abandoning them, you're, you're not spending time with them, you don't like them. And really it's that I didn't like myself. When you get better, when, when your treatment has worked, you might want to just forget about it and say, okay, done. It was like a cold. I had a cold. I got some cold medicine. I got some tissues and drank a lot of juice. And um, now I'm better. That's not a part of my life anymore. And that's kind of how I treated depression. As I kind of realized, okay, depression is going to be part of my life. I should uh, proactively try to deal with this. Then I would talk with other people who, like me, had depression. And I found that actually a lot of the people that I would interact with when I would say, oh, I, I have a diagnosis of depression, people would say me too. And they would be people that I would think, really? But you're always so upbeat or, or everything goes your way. And it, it, we have to let people know that it, it's not, um, it's not whether you know things are going well or things are going poorly. Those circumstances are real. If things go poorly, you quite reasonably could feel bad. It's when everything's fine and you still don't have that engagement, or you feel really awful, um, you know, even though all of the the circumstances are fine. That's when um, depression is getting in the way of of the life that you should be able to lead.